Well, this is a pretty important night for you. How do you feel about being in, inducted into the Hall of Fame? Well, it's a big thing. As I said on the stage and just said over here, I haven't, I haven't been singled out very many times in my life. And um, just to get the job, to get a job uh, like on the old Griffith show or Matlock or anything else is uh, honor enough. And then to be with six people, three, five other people like this. Like these are Bill and I are friends, Sheldon and I are friends. Now you have certainly been on television Let's say a long time. I don't want to say years, but a long time. I don't know how many years I've been on, but it's been a long time. How do you answer those people that say there's nothing to watch on television? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. If you watch television all the time, there isn't much to watch. You get bored. But I watch, uh, like Mr. Copper was saying, I watch it. I watch the news. I like the news. Early morning, midday late afternoon, night, and uh, I go to, I get up so early, I have for years, I've been in the business, in, in the film, television business for so many years, that I get up at five every morning and I go to bed at eight, so whatever I see has to be before then, so there's a lot of stuff that I don't even know is on the air, sometimes I don't watch my own show, a lot of times I've seen it ahead of time. Now that you're a Hall of Famer, have you thought about how would you like to be remembered? What? No. No, I'd just like to be, I'd like to work till I can't remember my lines anymore. And uh, then I kind of, it's up to whatever people think at that time. If I, if I have done something that's entertaining and it's on tape or film, they'll watch it.